Hello viewers, welcome once again to my channel on Cat Africa Live, a channel that brings you insight of African politics and I'm always your guy, DeGraft Amwakon. Kenya will open its borders to all African Union member states. This was said by the Cabinet Secretary for Foreign and Diaspora, Dr. Alfred Mutua. He made this known in his welcome address at the 43rd Ordinary Session of the African Union Executive Council in Nairobi. Let's watch this video. I'll be back. For an African to visit a European nation, an ordinary African to visit an European nation, is like, let me give you an example my teacher used to use. It's like trying to milk an elephant hmm. because of the visa process. <laughs> However, for a European to visit an African nation, most of our nations, it is like a walk on the beach. It's like going to have a cup of tea. But then that is not the problem. The tragedy is that now for an African to visit a fellow African within the African Union, the visa restrictions in many of our nations among us, between our brothers and sisters, is like trying to brush the teeth of a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> they came, divided us, and they have taught us to keep each other from each other. Then they're mingling with each other and making money and growing, but they have taught us to hate each other. But for us to really enjoy the true economic benefits of the Africa continental free trade area, we need to behave like the Europeans and allow for the free movement of people and trade. To this end, in our contribution to this continental aspiration, Kenya is committed to progressively, and we are moving very fast by the end of this year, to abolish visas to citizens from African Union member states to make it easier to invest and do business in Kenya and across the continent. Wow. We are going to open the borders of Kenya. We do not fear our fellow Africans. Come, travel to Kenya. Live, do business in Kenya. Trade, make money in Kenya. And we hope we'll get reciprocity with the rest of you. Let us open our continent so that we can make money and live together. Let us remove the shackles of colonialism that are still embedded in our heads and be able to move forward. Wow, 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 wow. You know, it's exciting hearing such news coming from leaders. It's very exciting. You know, we have been trumpeting this idea of this whole colonial borders that was created by the colonial masters and should I say colonial masters or those who came and divided us as Africans. This whole border, you know, uh, recently people have been complaining that they try to travel to other African countries and anytime they travel, it's more like traveling to another African country is more difficult than traveling to an European country or a Northern American country. And sometimes you hear such news and it's very sad. You know, most of us are very familiar with Western culture than our own African culture. A Ghanaian don't know much about Kenyan culture. A Ghanaian don't know much about South African culture. A Ghanaian don't know much about Seychelles culture. But we know everything about what happens in America, what happens in Europe. And that makes it sad. Why have we created borders on our own continent? But you go to Europe, and if you are holding an European passport, you can travel to any country in Europe without hustling. By you be holding an African passport, and you go to Mauritania, and it's like you are 
you are a, a, a terrorist. They scrutinize you like you are coming to do something bad at that country because you are from another African country. Who did this to us? Is all in the hands of the colonialism. Mental slavery. It has become difficult to navigate around Africa. Our own Africa. It has become difficult. So it's very exciting when you see leaders start thinking straight. Leaders start thinking like, no, enough is enough. Let's take decisions. Let's take policies that will benefit us. Why are we not trading among ourselves? Why are we not doing things among ourselves? Why don't we have African festival where many Africans go and learn about another Africans that will benefit everybody economically? We keep dividing ourselves. And sometimes you raise this topic about African unity and you, you will see another African being hurt that it will not work. We have too, we have too many tribes. And no, when we talk of unity, it's not about moving to, moving to go and live in somebody's country. But unity, we can do things among ourselves. We can trade among ourselves. We can create something related. We can create festivals. We can create this so that we can learn among ourselves. You get it? Because unity is stronger. I don't think European countries, uh, they are, we have different languages. Other Europeans, uh, Germans speak different language. Uh, Dutch speak different language. France speak different. But at the end of the day, they have African Union, uh, European Union, which has made them, they have one currency. Africa don't have one currency. So we have to put, take some measures that will bring us close to the unity table. That is what many Pan-Africans has been trumpeting. Many Pan-Africans has been trying to tell us, let's unite. That is the only option that African continent can be stronger. That is the only option. So anytime I see such videos, I have no option than to react to it because it's an exciting video coming from a minister in Kenya government. I hope every African follow the suit and trumpet the same message to its citizens because the only way African can move forward is if we unite and partner among ourselves. Otherwise, we will keep hustling, we will keep complaining. Everything we will do is not going to bear any fruit. And the Western countries will keep taking advantage of our resources. And this is a fact. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification button so that anytime I upload any great content, you will be notified. Thanks for watching.